I bet when you got your package, you wondered why you had this giant piece of Larkspur in your kit of supplies. Um, this is a real fun wiring technique, um, and you could would use it for one of two methods. Sometimes when you're working in a florist shop and you're on, you're rushing to get your project done and you've got just enough supplies for that beautiful centerpiece that you're making for your one of your best customers, the worst possible things happens. You break your Larkspur. What am I gonna do? I'm stuck. This is the last piece. I need this for this arrangement, otherwise it's not gonna look any good at all. Well, that's when you take out of your bag of tricks, your tools and your techniques, you know that Larkspur has a hollow stem. And with flowers with hollow stems, like Larkspurs and Snapdragons and a few other flowers, you can take a piece of wire and insert it in the hollow stem and if you guide it just right, so you're gonna need your longer piece of wire here. It's magic. So now, those cells will stick together long enough to have that piece of Larkspur be good enough for that arrangement. Look, at it looks great. So that's one reason why he um, would use the insertion method is to save that piece of plant material that's very expensive that you want to and that you need because it's the last one you have in your shop. But then you can also have a little fun with this method. And as you guys have been looking at different designs, you've seen some more modern things that use some kind of wackier, more interesting, creative techniques. So once you have that wire inside this Larkspur, you can make it a little bit more geometrical. You can have a little bit of fun with this. You can make some, oops, my wire must end right there, some stair steps. Maybe add another one. Ooh, there you go. So this is the insertion method. You use it for flowers with hollow stems and you would use it either to fix a broken stem, which happens a lot, or just to have some fun and be creative. Try it out.